All right, this is a reading for Virgo. I believe this is who is thinking of you or what they think of you or do they like you or some such alchemation of all. But yeah, I'll, I'll figure out how to write it. But anyway, so we are going to start with the numbers that I channeled before the reading. <coughs> so um, this combination could be a date. It could be a number. It could be a significant um, number that you've seen throughout your day when you met this person. So you met this person March 13th of 6. It could be 2006. It could be 1996. It could be uh, 2016. Okay? When you met this person. So you get three different dates. Um, also, it could have been June 13th of 03. So it could have been, you know, 1993. Could be 2003. 2013. Or it might be soon to come. Uh, 2023, so, uh, you know, a little bit of future past tense verb there as well. Um, so, let's see. We also have a compass, a dandelion, or an owl. These could be symbols. This could be something that you see when you meet this person, or you did see when you meet this person. Um, it could have been nighttime, could have been at a park, could have been on a camping trip, could have been a library, um, anything that has a compass, dandelion, or an owl feature to it. Um, I don't think, <clears throat> you know, Longhorn Steakhouse would have an owl in it, but, you know, I could be wrong, too. But, um, anyway, and we also have some, you know, alchemations of other things. That it could be reminding you of an owl or a dandelion or a compass. It could be a wish, it could be direction, or it could be wisdom. Um, also, there's intuition, direction, ending, transformation, wisdom, and secrets that I've already channeled that I've written down as well. So, there's going to be some um, cooperation here. Um, with a goal or success um, when you meet this person or it could have been something to do with your job. Um, <clears throat> so could have also been something to do with school if you've um, been to school and had to work at a library or had to um, do some research at a library. Um, so I have like the two most annoying cats in my garage today. I have s'mores, and I have bean, vanilla bean. Both cats I found um, that were abandoned, but you know, they're they have abandonment issues. They want to be with the other cats too. So anyway, if you hear them scratching, that's what it is. It's not I have any other thing trying to escape. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something having like a this, uh, you know, something going on. Anyway, um, I saw a squirrel in here the other day, so it wouldn't be, be half as bad. So, this could have been a park that you met this person, because I keep thinking about critters and cats and other things. So, uh, could be a park as well. Anyway, we have the first part, which is the Seven of Wands. There's there's three parts to this card. So the first part of it is a letter which you receive, paper which is well organized or orderly, confirmation which you put to good use, paid invoices, letters, papers, documents, certificates, invoices, loans, or contracts. So there's something here that has to do with Either something for your job or, you know, business-oriented or school. 
All right, and then uh, the second part of this is uh, defense denial in love, a breakup from an external pressure. I feel like there might have been a relationship involved with this card. Um, maybe you just got out of a relationship and then like, <laughs> you know, you're like, oh, I'm just perfectly fine going about your business. And then you meet this person and you're like, oh, this person's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, it's, it's kind of weird, but this person's kind of seen where you've been and what you've been doing. Um, probably has been a friend for a while. Okay. So, um, I'm getting a lot of like real star Im imagery, so there might have been like a night or something or a party. So I keep getting stars. Anyway, so you will receive attention. You will enjoy your notoriety. Your birth chart will work in your favor progress. So there's something here that is kind of leading you. I, I wouldn't say it's like, oh, did you come this way? Um, it, it's leading you towards a path. I feel like you've kind of been dawdling away from the path and kind of on the path at the same time. So there's kind of a snake-like motion or a river type motion to this, like the Milky Way. Oh, ironic, right? Stars. And then the next card, <laughs> of course, would be the star in reverse. So there's some type of mourning energy to this one. So there's a lost theft, um, fate, fatelessness, other people's jealousy interfering with your life, not getting what you expect, even if it's what's good for you, insecurity and um, discouragement. So there's something here that's discouraging you from trying something else or looking for something else. Um, this is the Hillophant. Hillophant in reverse of all things. Yeah, that's not good. Um, so new approaches, commitments you do not want, rebellion, outdated tradition, uh, sub subversiveness, judgment of for a lifestyle, being punished for doing the right thing. So there might have been something here that um, you did that went uh awry <laughs> and uh, kind of got reprimanded for for being honest um, but yeah we have the page of swords the page of swords is let's see is an intellectual relationship lack of emotional intensity fun together sharing ideas <clears throat> best friends looking out for each other so you might be looking out for somebody or you guys might be close friends um and they're thinking about you at this moment in time uh, which is ironically coincidental um so there's the page of wands in reverse which is failure to commit unreliable partner aimless search for love so I feel like you don't really have any prospects in your love relationship. Um, so you just kind of go with whatever happens, which, you know, to be honest, <laughs> some, some people are not, you know, a hundred percent themselves all the time. So it's like really hard to have a gauge on if they're interested or not. Um, and so we have the magician. Um, <clears throat> so increase in skill, skill use for good desire, manifesting, uh, willpower, originality, creativity, achieving the things you want or daydream about. And then part two of that is, see, something being a burden, but you cope with something being, uh, positively fated or religious um, beliefs keep, <clears throat> keeps you going. I feel like there's some type of circumstance in your religious beliefs or that you believe personally. Maybe you have a really active ninth house. Ninth house is belief system and religion. 
even if you're not the most religious person, you believe certain things will happen and stuff like that. And when you say certain affirmations about your own life, they end up happening. And that's kind of what a ninth house is. <laughs> Whatever you say will happen. Um, which is interesting. I don't have a ninth house. I have, <laughs> I have a really active seventh house and a really active fifth house of creativity. But, um... <clears throat> Ninth houses can be a lot of fun. Um, like, you can instinctively know, like, uh, certain answers to questions or certain, um, <clears throat> people you want to meet, you'll, like, meet them instinctively or something like that. Or you'll find your path very easily. Um, some people don't have that moral compass to find their, their path or know who they are immediately. So, good on you for, you know, all that stuff. But let's see. Um, Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is faithfulness, loyalty, but stubborn lovers steadily, um, secure relationship, traditional relationships, long-term relationships, dependabilities, um, need to accept others' point of view. So you might need to see something other than your own perception like if it doesn't work the first time like try try again or you know something else um but you always have to try like a trial and error type thing and I feel like you might be like an all-in type of person once you lose it all you lose it all but life isn't really a gamble life is more of a persistent fight to the top just because it doesn't work this time doesn't mean it won't work later so it's a it's it's an interesting you know balance um because you have to sacrifice one thing to get something else and it's a bunch of bunch of stuff but i feel like your friend does have feelings for you <laughs> they might not be the most oh i like you um type of people they might be very quiet about their their feelings um because like some people de it, depending on how you feel or how <clears throat> circumstances are they might not say it like right away you know um or they might not come out until it's like a more calming time in their own life you know type of thing but some people you know they they admire people from afar it doesn't have to be anything sexual it just could be a, an admiration you know always being the protector of other people uh that's a hard job it's a hard stick um so a three of swords the reveal of truth grief heartbreak lessons learned suffering the crap being cleared away from your life so again i feel like you're kind of moving on and i feel like your your friend or potential partner I think this is a potential partner because of how <clears throat> everything's blocked here. Hopes and dreams are blocked. Um, the heat is blocked. Usually the page of wands is like love at first sight energy. So I, I feel like it might not be like love at first sight energy. I feel like it's going to be like a great cup of coffee on a rainy day <laughs> type of love, which is... If you've never had a cup of coffee during a rainstorm, it's fantastic. It's more buttery than it should be, and it's just fantastic. But, um... <laughs> but if... If it's not love at first sight, I feel like it's the next best thing. It's a comfortable type of love. You feel good with this person. You feel like, you know, you can melt into each other and just, you know, just be totally fine either living... <clears throat> separate lives or life together so it's it's one of those type of things i feel um it's not like a friends with benefits it's like it's like a friends with a promise type of energy so <coughs> i feel like this is somebody that's been in your life for a while too so it's you know it's, it's a long thing uh yeah so we have Amazonite, green, jade, halonite, and we have I examine olive. 
<laughs> uh, so it's a cocktail reference. Um, <clears throat> I usually write things down on everything I use in my readings, and today just seemed like a show and share type thing. Um, so if you like this reading, good on you. But I do feel like you're going to have to kind of be changing your point of view from one thing to another. It's called a growing symptom. Growing symptoms are when you change your perspective in order to be more optimistic. I feel like you're very pessimistic. I feel like the people you attract are very pessimistic or lacking experience in life. Um, so it's a very like really small small area of perception. Um, usually people that have a wider perception are more optimistic. They've been through a lot. Um, they might have very moderate lives, but they've seen a lot, they've done a lot. They're kind of winding down to settlement, which is kind of like, oh, I want this, this, and this, um, and then settling. I don't feel like you're in that energy yet. I feel like you're still kind of muddling around, trying to find what's going to make you happy and what you can deal with, what you can't deal with. Um, that's a very tough one. Um, because, like, your limitations can be very different from other people's limitations. If you choose a partner, their their limitations are going to be very different from your limitations. Um, their perceptions are going to be very different from yours as well. Um, because I feel like it's either you had a lot of influence in your life or like you had a lot of people that came from different aspects of life. Um, so it, it's probably more of the world was at your feet. Um, with with most people, such as myself, I I lived a very protected life. <laughs> um, I I didn't really go out of the realm of like who I am as a person, but um, I know of a lot of people that have had different aspects. But um, you know, it it didn't really rub off on me. I'm still <laughs> still an asshole. Um, but anyway, so hopefully this helps you out. Um, it really doesn't matter if you change your perception or not. I feel like you're going to attract somebody fine. But, um, as far as your lifestyle is concerned, you might need to upgrade a few things, um, that might be bothering you. I feel like this could be a bit of a growing up transition, or it could just be a, a need to feel more aware of self, okay, um, which, which ha has many meanings, but it's, it's kind of like a soothing pattern, you know, like what children do when they have their security blanket, so you might have like a piece of furniture that reminds you of a, of a time when you were younger, or you might have certain things you want to put in your house that you don't have right now so you're probably looking for items like that that are very calming um i feel like you might <laughs> kind of have anxiety but anyway i will see you in the next reading um take care of yourself um try not to drink alcohol too much i've actually stopped drinking alcohol <laughs> when it gets hot outside because like it it gives me weird like double vision. I had double vision yesterday, so I'm kind of like, eh. I I can't do the alcohol thing in the summer. Um, yeah, I need to drink more water and probably more milk because double vision isn't good. Double vision's like you have somebody like imposter syndrome. Um, with me, it's just I tell the future and. <laughs> Sometimes I do feel like I have two people in me, but, uh, you know, that's a whole different symptom altogether. Um, it's because I, I see stuff from two different angles. Um, but yeah, you just need to make sure that you eat right. You kind of get some 
some water, uh, some nutrition. I feel like that's a very big, big thing for people right now. Um, try to get like, I think there's this, this thing called Gray's, if not, it's something else. Um, Gray's is like one of those, those subscription boxes that gives you like, um, like almost like a granola-y type of brownie supplement or like, you know, snack food that tastes like different snacks, like Cheez-Its that taste like hot dogs or whatever. But it's, it's nutritious and it's vegan, so it's like you're tricking your mind in, in order to eat more vitamins and stuff. But you might want to look into that so that you have something to snack on that's going to help you with eyesight and muscle. I feel like you might not be eating the best type of food right now. Um, because <laughs> I don't think I am either. I had a Italian sub and I don't think it was good for me. I think I put too many pickles on it. But anyway, um, hopefully this helped you out in some way, shape, or form. <laughs> I like to rant. It's fun. Um, so anyway, just make sure you eat right, stay hydrated, rest. I feel like some people might be burning the midnight oil and the candle in both ends. So make sure you rest. Take some days off. Have a vacation. Relax. Um, I feel like that would help out a lot. And meditate if you have time. The more calmer you are, the more good things will happen. Um... I will see you in the next reading, all right? Later.